So yet another year has passed and we are back at the Hockenheim ring ready for another Formula Student Germany. We're all buzzing as we wait for the teams to come and set up their pits. So yes, from your point of view, how does one build a Formula Student Germany? Yeah, I, I guess you really need a um, bunch of people who, people who are really motivated. So you get um, a lot of crazy people, people who are willing to go the extra miles throughout the entire year and prepare everything. But then you need a different kind of set of people, um, the, our Richard basically, who are really motivated and who are willing to exhaust themselves for an entire week. Um, people who are willing to, to give everything to, to make it a bit better than last year. And if you have that, then I think nothing can go wrong. And what exactly are you doing right now? Because, I mean, the event's about to start, start in a few hours and you're all busy working. What are you all doing? Yeah, I'm, uh, together with Karth, I'm responsible for the design event. And um, basically, we are finished. So everything is set up. We, we are ready to go. We, we were ready to go yesterday, basically. But uh, for this year, we have an uh, improved version of a design app where the chief judges can monitor what's going on in, in the queues so that uh, they can spot irregularities. They can look at, uh, at the judging at the li judging life and figure out where, they, where something unexpected has happened, where they might need to look at a bit, in, uh, bit more in detail because all the judge groups are a bit inconsistent. And so we want to level that out with that app a bit more. How does one build a Formula Student Germany? Yeah, we are here for building up the energy and the infrastructure for the event site. We're bringing energy and uh, internet and all our intranet to the uh, important points. So Brunel container, grandstands, so that all the team members have Wi-Fi there or the judges have internet for the, doing the, the scoring or something else. But what does the site actually look like for you when you arrive? Yeah, we have many cables we can use here from the Formula One or from the Hockenheim ring, but we also have a lot of kilometers of cables we um, have to install here. So round about glass fibers, one and a half kilometers here, all about the ring. And um, yeah, it's a lot of uh, work here. And you do this every single year? Every single year and more and more each year. And how do you plan for this? How long does it take you to prepare? Yeah, with the team, half, an, half a year before, but before the formula student is after the formula student, and after the formula student is before the formula student. And so um, uh, during this event, we're also planning the um, next year's formula student. Okay, so the topic for today is how does one build a Formula Student Germany? Uh, what exactly, as a scrutineer, have you been doing throughout the year to prepare for this week? Well, just trying to keep up with the Formula Student scene, watching cars at the rollouts of the teams. Um, I'm also reading the replies for of the rule, rules requests, which come, uh, come in by the teams throughout the year. And also a bit trying to keep up with the rules changing. <laughs> so that's it's not too new here and not everything is has to be seen for the first time here and what are you doing today before the teams arrive well today we just prepare uh, our tools we need for a technical inspection meet each other um, have some meetings plan the next days but today is not that stressful for us but from tomorrow on when we'll start with technical inspection we'll have a lot to do 
So the FSG team have completed the first part of their task this week and at 6 o'clock tonight the teams were allowed onto the site to start setting up their pits. Um, it's now midnight and as you can see this place is still really full as they work hard through the night to prepare for scrutineering tomorrow. See you then.